Yo, once again, welcome to Kennecop TV. This is a channel that informs, interact, and educate big farmers about new information. Let's go for a quick commercial break before we begin. Kennecop TV is also proudly sponsored by Kennecop Baba Shop, located at Boko Estate near the CTI gate around Sujaman Park. Our contact is on the screen. Just pick it up, call us, and come for us to design your hair for you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Give it the like and subscribe. Right. Kenny Cup. Give it. Kenny Cup. If you want to know our picks, Kenny Cup TV is your channel. Go for it. Thank you once again for your time. Today we are looking at uh, our pigless, three months and a week old, having a um, new room and everything we told you that we are looking at how to make sure that we get the animals grow well these animals that you are seeing they are just um three months and a week they were born on the 29th of january 2024 now we've separated them and given them new rooms mm -hmm. for them to enjoy we look at their feed we give them quality feed the feed that we gave them was made with maize, Tom Brown, and um, Kujis, 35% broiler concentrate. So just let us enjoy the video. And after that, we have a quick interview with my hardworking worker who has been such a blessing to my family. In fact, his brother was supposed to go for a funeral and he made him to come and work for me as his replacement once he's out. And with his work ethics, uh, I'm keeping the two of them to work with. So, yeah, let's enjoy the video. TV is also proudly sponsored by Kenko Baba Shop, located at Boko Estate near the CTI gate around Sujaman Park. Our contact is on the screen. Just pick it up, call us, and come for us to design your hair for you. Thank you. Hi, keep watching Kenko TV. Kenko TV, the best. Welcome back, our lovely viewers, to Kenko TV. Today, we are here to interview uh, my worker. So. I will let him introduce himself a little bit. What's your name? My name is Remo. And what's the name of the farm that you are working in? Yes, the farm name is Black and White United Farm. Good. Um, how many months have you been working here, if you remember? I can't remember. It's two months oh, now. Two months now. Yeah. Okay. So two months now, you came to meet the piglets here. They were now born, right? Yes. And um. How do you see their growth? Oh, yes. What the question that you asked me is good. At the time that I was here, when I see them, they were still the mothers. That time they are small. And then we, when we take them from the mothers, you see them, the food that you are giving to them, the food is good food for them. So they always grow. They always grow. Oh, that day that we share them, when they grow, I'm always happy. Uh -huh. Because they always grow fast. 
Now, when you see them, when they tell you that they are not up to here, you will be surprised. Uh -huh. that I can decide to say they are not up to, let's say, seven months or five months. They are not up to that. Uh -huh. When you see them now, they are grow. Yes. Uh -huh. So they are, the food is good for them to eat and grow. Uh -huh. So uh, that's, that's why they always grow mm. more like that. So are you surprised to know that they are just three months and um, one week old? Yes, I'm surprised. And because if you see the way that they grow, you think that they are more than three months. Mm -hmm. And because of we take care of them mm -hmm. very well, so that's why they only grow. And the food that we are prepared to give them, the food is also good for them. So that's why they always grow like that. So I'm happy for that. Okay. Um. Working as a pig farmer, is it difficult? Mm. Uh, for me, the, I can say it's not difficult. Because when you wake up early in the morning, come and give them the food and then the water, then small time, you always add them the other small, small. When it's small time, let's say they, when it's two o'clock getting to three, you give them small food and the water. And then even if you give them the water, it will soak okay for them. So that's how. They always grow. So if you take it, if you take them very careful, so it's good for them. So they will grow more. Uh -huh. If you don't take care them very well, so that one you see they won't grow. They won't grow more. So you see that you think that uh, your work that you are doing, so it no happy for you. Uh -huh. So so far as you take them very careful, so that's why they always find and grow like that. Okay. Um. You have talked about the food they eat. Mm. Do you give them injection? Mm. Do you give them injection, the animals? Yes. We always inject them for they should get more more distant. They should get more 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 body and then the body will always look strong for them to eat the food. So maybe when they are running, if we inject, inject them so the 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 stomach will also go for it. It's your boy editing to the AKA Desmond to the AKA DB in the building. And you're keeping locked on Kenny Cop TV. Can you like, subscribe, and share? Don't forget to leave a comment as to know what's going on with you. And you know what? Keep on learning as we all learning too. Peace, fam. Yes. So um, earlier on, you were talking about um, giving the animals injection. And I want to ask. Are you the one who do it yourself or you have somebody who come to do it? Oh, I'm not the one. I have somebody who come and inject them. Sister Joyce. You see a good veterinary doctor who come and inject it for, for me. So okay. if you inject you only inject them good, very, very good. Uh -huh. So it's a very, very good doctor. So I'm not the one injecting them. Okay. So um earlier on you talked about the feed that you give to the animals, mm -hmm. saying that it helps them to grow fast. Yeah. Do you prepare the feed here or um, your master brings the feed himself? Oh, it's my master who bring the feed himself for oh. me to take care of you take care there very careful. Okay, so help us here. You give them food. What about water? Water, we always give them. The time that we will give them the food, we will give them the water. So small, small, small time, we always give them the water small, small. Not heavy, but if you give them the food, the first time you always give them the water heavy, so that when they are eating, they will always drink more water. So when they drink more water, they will always eat more. Uh, so that's how we always take care of them <coughs> with their food in the water. Okay, and um, you earlier on also mentioned that the animals you are happy working with them. Yeah. all the time yeah has there been a day that you have felt sad working here as a farmer yes now i can say yeah the question that you asked me is good that that day there is some cobra came here and buy my some of the animals and kill two of them so that day that very day i'm very 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 sad uh -huh. so i'm not happy for that day because when i'm working here i didn't see that thing before i didn't see that problem before so the day that the problem happened like that, oh, I'm I'm not happy. Cry. So um, tell us what really happened. 
did you come and see the animal? How did you know there's a cobra here? Tell us. Yes, I always come and see the animals. It's a black one. <laughs> so it bite two. So when the two lie down, it's still chasing the rest of the animals. So I always try my best to always kill them. So the place that you always part and came inside. So that place that you always part and went out. <laughs> so I didn't get the animal. I didn't find the animals. So I didn't get him to kill. <laughs> so he ran away. So I didn't get him. Okay. So you are saying that um, you came to see. Did you hear any sound that made you come here or? How do you know that the animal, there is a cobra here, so you have to come here? Yes, really, because the time that you was bad, you were by the, 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 the animals, they are crying because they, 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 they are paining they pain them, so they are crying. So that time I did in my room and hear the crying, so I always run and come and see. And so when I come, I always have cutlass and then stick. And I just want to come and see what happened. And so when I came, I always came and get inside and see the cobra. And then he bite the two of the animals, they are lying down. And he's still chasing the, the rest of them. So I always try my best to kill them. So but I don't I didn't get them. So he ran away. And so that's the problem. That when I came here, yes, I didn't see that problem before. So the problem that I get that 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 that, that that's problem. That's the, the problem that I, I always get. Okay. So were you not afraid seeing the cobra? Didn't the cobra try to attack you or something? <laughs> they they that the cobra, when I just see them, you always try to put some saliva from my eyes. I'm always dodging. I always want to try my best and kill them. Because not a, it's not a good animal. So he bite two of my animals, so he killed them. So I don't want to leave him to go like that. I always try my best. But I didn't get time to kill him, so he ran away. So after that, we always find the space that when inside the rooms, we always find something to fix them. So now I can say it's good. Now the place good. Any any bad animals cannot come inside our workplace. Okay. So I must say that you have done a good job trying to kill the cobra at night. It was. It told me 11 p.m. It was raining and the thunderstorm was high. So you've done well. Um, I would say God bless you for protecting the animals and taking good care of them and sorry to see that it was sad but you you personally have you find anything difficult here have you find anything difficult here about you yourself like maybe you saw the cobra attacking the animals what about you has any animal attacked you before here no there's no animals attack me in here and then uh, what animals attack me is scorpion they bite me some some days so that day, I'm, I'm always doing you know, that uh, uh, That thing. It's not like uh, anything. I can't say that, but it's a mistake thing that the thing bite me. So, uh, so that's the, if I just came here, the first time I came here, it's only scorpion who bite me. I didn't see any animals attack me here, okay. apart from scorpion. And how did the, when the scorpion bite you, what did you do? So, I'm always wait for you if you, the time that you came here i tell you so you send me to hospital so they take care of me they inject me so they, that day they inject me so the honor the, the the pain is go and leave me they are going to leave me working with me is it um with fun or you don't like to work with me no no problem me you don't have any problem i like to work with you so if i say you do anything you always try your best to do if I say you do anything, you do good for the farm and you, and me and you, we always do. So I'm happy for that. I'm working with you. So I can't say that I'm not happy. I'm happy. Let, yes. If I'm not happy with you, the animals will not grow like that. So I, I'm happy with you that I'm working with you. So I don't have problem. With you, okay. So. so thank you so much for your time, Raymond. And we wish you all the best of luck. And God bless you for working hard for Black and White United Farm. Have a blessed day. See you again. I also thank you for your your times and your works, your, your small small works that you always live and came here and visit me and my and, and my animals. We are all here and you are not here. Every day you always try your best to come here. I also thank you. God so so bless you for your your job that you did. It's a good job for you. Thank you very much. You are welcome.
Thank you, sir. See you. Okay.